The following is an edited recording from a live video broadcast. Image and audio quality may vary. But we're just going to kick it off. Uh, so just post your comments, fans, as to what you think it is. Don't cheat. Don't look it up. Whatever else. As I said, we, I'm going to give the answer straight away, by the way. So straight off, what's this from, Mr. Aaron? Um, Always thinking about it. I thought you might know it off the top of your head, mate. Post your comments, fans. What do you think it's from? There's a few things that could be from. I do know it. It's frustrating because I'm like, I know that. Um, of course you do. The clock's ticking. And the, the, for those who are watching, there is a seven-second delay. <laughs> Neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> it's, to- it's Tony. Oh, dear. From- Tony from Neighbours. <laughs> so, Docky, um, who know it is all movies. Not Christy, from, there's no TV shows. not from Doctor Who. Um, I'm going to have no, to not- say... I'm going to have to say I don't. I'm thinking a quiet place, but I no, I don't know. Oh, dude, I thought you'd be on the ball with this one. I, I like this one. I can't remember the title. That's the ultimate get out of jail free card. Uh, yes, Greens is on the right track. Uh, he is actually from uh, Cloverfield, Cloverfield, which is a quite yes, absolutely I... adored Cloverfield. I thought it was one of the best monster movies I'd ever seen. It was fantastic. But as we said yep. in one of our reviews, don't watch it in the cinema. You will be chucking up because of the motion sickness. But I absolutely love it. That is not Joey from Friends. All right, so there we go. <laughs> it's quite out the box. Uh, oh, we, we, we actually sh- we actually showed Lisa Kudrow as she appears now. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Now this one is I, I wouldn't have guessed this. I it was actually uh, on TV the other night. Any idea as to what you think this is from, Mister Aaron? If you didn't get Cloverfield, you probably won't get this. Is this like the um, oh, the Shape of Water one? Um, no. Oh, no. By, by that French director. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 I, I, no. I, I, no. Let's give the let's give our viewers a chance to help me out. Well, I tell you what, Gene is on the ball. Uh, Cowboys and Aliens. Yes, that's exactly what I was. And the reason why we're doing this talk is because Cowboys and Aliens was on TV the other night, and I thought, oh my god, I haven't yeah. seen this for a long time. And don't say, yeah. and you're not going to get out of it. With, it was the other one because that doesn't help. Um, yeah, uh, Aliens versus Cowboys. Wrong way around. It was actually Cowboys that, versus that, Aliens. That, so well that, done. Absolutely. That absolutely did not look like Harrison Ford. Oh, that's an easy <laughs> no, that, but it looked like Daniel Craig. <laughs> that, that, that's an easy one. I, I won't ruin it for people, but I'll just say welcome to Earth, and that would yeah, um yeah, be a yeah, line, exactly a right. line from the movie. Yeah, so what if everyone think this is from? That. Oh, you would assume so. Yeah, good to see what you I thought you'd be just romping this in right at this point. You're actually dialing, you're dying at the moment. Independence Day, uh, Independence Day, yep, exactly right. Uh, yeah. oh, everybody's got an ID4. Everybody knows this one. This is very, very yeah. cool. So, uh, well done. Yeah. Well, clearly so the, that was the little go on. So, so that was the first time I think we saw it where Will Smith punches it in the face and says, welcome to Earth. Yep, Underpants Day, absolutely love it, <laughs> uh, ID4. It was, look, it was a seriously grouse movie. If you just wanted to see shit line up, what can I say? Absolutely loved it. This one you should know, dude. And if you do know and you don't want to say the answer, that's fine. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I do. I could give a hint. Let's see what the – let's see if our audience come up with it. So I'm two oh, out of four so it. far. I like this. At least make it a bit challenging. Oh, cop that if you don't mind. I'm quite <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, no, uh, Karan, we're not talking about ourselves. We're stranger things here. Uh, but uh, there we go. Uh, Greg is on the ball. A quiet place. Yeah. Yes, day one. So I just um, – so yeah. I, I just saw this in the week, so it was an easy one. But that looks better than the one in the new movies, I've got to say. Yeah, okay. Because I originally had um, A Quiet Place, and I thought it didn't really appear in the first movie. It was only in the third movie. So uh, uh, I was thinking Fire in the Sky. No, actually, I'll give you a hint now. There is no Fire in the Sky uh, coming up. How about this one? This is an easy one, dude. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, um, do you want to know more? Yeah, exactly right. I like this one from Jean. Uh, this one I'm clueless. I think she was referring to the previous one. Suddenly, from hero to zero. Uh, yeah, this is an easy one. I couldn't get a proper picture of the other ones, so uh, I'll just chuck this one in. So, yeah. everybody else, what do you think it's from? Yes. Oh, I, pref- I prefer the brain bug. That one looked really yuck. Yeah, and what happened to that brain bug? They just shoved a metal thing inside its gate. Uh, yes, Starship Troopers, 100%. <laughs> Bugs! Yes, exactly right. Oh, yes, absolutely fantastic. Uh, that was an awesome movie. I did a, uh, if you look on the Sci Fi Zone YouTube channel, I did a uh, video regarding Starship Troopers. It came out this week, actually, so be sure to check it out if you haven't done so already. This one, where do you go with this one, dude? 
I, I do know that one. Let me just try and... Oh, hang on. I'm hearing a lot of sighing. I thought you'd be coming out, mate. It's because, popping, it's because, I, it's because I, know, I know the aliens. I just don't remember the names of the movie they're from. So, oh, look um, at this. Tell you what. Look at this. The Arrival. Oh, Gene, you are in the zone. Yes, from the 1990s when digital aliens were still a bit of an early thing. And if you remember, the knees bent backwards. So they took over yes. people. And they're running around the place. I only saw it once or twice. So, uh, so they didn't didn't show a lot of that alien in the movie, did they? No, they didn't. Actually, you are right. Service means citizenship. Uh, that was from Starship yes. Troopers. There we go. Here's a close up for you. And no, it does not look like your mother in law. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was th I was thinking it. <laughs> mm. uh, very important questions just come up. Gene has asked, "What do I win?" Uh, the first prize is a night out with Aaron. The second prize is two nights out with Aaron. <laughs> Do 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 we do we actually have a as someone who's leading and who is local? I'd be quite happy to give a gift voucher to the shop to the winner. Oh, I've got no idea. Well, Gene so far has got a uh, copped a couple in. I'm not too sure where Gene is located. So, uh, but anyway, what's what's this one from, dude? Um, I'm going to have to say I don't know that one. Oh, you suck. What can I say? Uh, oh, uh, Gene has said mimic, and I guess what, Gene, you've actually just lost your car. It's from Pacific Rim. So uh, there we go, fans. Pacific Rim. I would not never have got that. It doesn't look like any of the monsters from Pacific Rim. No, I, I wouldn't have picked that up either. So uh, there we go. All right, this is an easy one. Uh, oh, I know that. I know actually, that one. You do yet? Uh, no, yeah, Karen. Uh, we can't uh, start again. The fly didn't actually involve aliens. Uh, it, I mean, the dude. Seth Brundle turned into a fly, but he wasn't an alien as such, so that would have been in there. I know, but you know, this I one? know that one's great. That, that one's not got me in the dark, so I'll just let the people... No, nah, very good. Pitch oh, Black, yes. absolutely fantastic. Uh, it was a good yeah. movie. When it, all, it, it took forever to go dark, but when it did go dark, it was actually quite good. So And, I've got to say and, and you know what we're going to do on this channel? The Pitch Black um, spaceship is still in Cooper PD, and Dags and I are going to do a road trip out and do it live, and an episode from the spaceship in Cooper PD. Mate, absolutely love it. No, it'll only take us like freaking 50 hours to get there. That's not the, this is an easy one, fans, for those who haven't got it already. An absolute yeah, no-brainer. Yeah, so let's see if anyone gets this. Yep, it's... Uh, yep. Yeah, District 9, absolutely. Uh, for those who have never seen District 9, do yourself a favour. Uh, it is absolutely spectacular. An awesome movie. It really will make you think about how racism works in countries that had a racism in them. Uh, yeah. which is really uh, quite interesting. In this case, we're talking about South Africa. This is an easy one for you, dude. I had to chuck this one in. This is another totally easy one, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to see what mm -hmm. comes up. Yep, yep, that's cool. Uh, Gene said you didn't like the movie, uh, so sad not to remember the title. I'm not sure which one you're referring to, but uh, that's all good. Uh, yes, Go the Prawns. Uh, yes, exactly right for District 9. And it's an easy one. Yes, I know, Avengers. So I had to put a simple one in there eventually. Jane's got it. Fantastic. Uh, Green yeah, said they've got yeah. to hurry up with District 10. I don't think they do, but they could be a sequel. What happens when um, the aliens return? Uh, you'd have to ask yourself the question. Uh, oh, Christopher Johnson, that's right, when he returns with his dudes. I could not get a proper picture of this. Best of luck, fans. Yeah, but uh, I know that one straight away as well. Let's see if, do you? Let's see if Gene, Gene can get it. Oh, well done, dude. Oh, yeah, I thought, well, this is completely le out of left field as far as I was concerned, but well done for picking this up. So I like this. You couldn't get Cloverfield, but you got this. Mate, what's the deal? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, i tell you what. I'll Gene tell you is what, in the someone, zone. Someone's using Google image search. <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't know. So, uh, yes, Battle Los Angeles. And there's just no decent yeah. pictures at all from that movie. So there you go. No, no. Yes. It, it is it is good that people pick that up because that is a hard one, you know? Yeah, totally agree. Uh, here we go. This is an easy one for you. Oh, yes. that's. Is it from number one, though? Yes, it is. I made a point of picking it from number one. So, uh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So um, it is a, definitely one of those movies where for guys out there, if you see a really attractive lead, a lady, uh, be wary of what you get yourself into because it can actually end badly for you. Species mm. is completely true from number one, yes. And do, I think they you know, invented you, this. What do you know? What Dags, I actually had the Geiger behind the scenes book of what they wanted to do with species, and that movie would have been banned if they'd used his ideas. It was that was pushing it, and you see what he wanted to do, and it was basically torture porn almost. Oh, that's another, oh, yeah. this is another great one. No, oh, I, no, love I gave this, this I'm giving you, I'm giving you a couple of gimmies, uh, and uh. Green said, is it number two? No, it was from number one. But the idea is that they said, oh, let's get ourselves a really attractive woman so we could turn her into a vicious alien. 
Why not? Mm. And we this is an easy one because we only just talked about this a week or two ago. So you are right. It is enemy mine for those who are uh, aware of that. And of course, I think they what was discussing a remake for that. And uh, uh, Colin said yeah. enemy mine. Everybody's in the zone. Enemy mine. Enemy mine. So, Will I come give you Everyone some hard that ones? One. That, huh? that one was easy. We'll have to we'll have to work out who the winner is by them reciting the litany of all the generations. Uh, yes, exactly right. This is oh, a, this, I, love, I love this one. I love this one. This is this is a great one as well. Yes, yes, very, very cool. Uh, got to absolutely love it. No cheating fans, no Google searching, whatever. Either you know it or you don't. But um, yes, very, very cool. Mm. Absolutely love it. Uh, and look at this. They're popping them out. Uh, last Starfighter, uh, last Starfighter. And what are the, okay, so fans, just quickly out there, what were those aliens called? Very, very quickly. If you know. uh, they were actually you remember? Mon, Mon Calamari. They were not. Well, what were these actually aliens <laughs> called? Does anybody remember? It's from The Last Starfighter, but they actually had a name. Uh, does anybody remember what they were called from The Last Starfighter, those bad dudes? So, uh, oh, like this from Colin, my last Tinder date. Oh, geez, that's a bit wash. <laughs> <laughs> don't wait, wait, look it up. Either second. you know it or you don't. Wait a, huh? wait a second. Wait a second. I thought it was my last grinder date. Uh, yeah, exactly right. Gone or something. Uh, gone in 60 seconds. Uh, no, there we go. Don't need to Google like this one. Don't need to Google search. I'm 65 years old. Good for you. Something with a G. No. Uh, they were called the Zandozan. So there you go. Anyway, what's this from, dude? That That's the Zandozan Misfits from Outer Limits. <laughs> yes, after this is after their Tinder date. Uh, I'll yes. tell you what. Even, I got no. I even I didn't know what this was. I mean, like, what the bloody hell is that? It's like like last week's like <laughs> um, leftover dinner left in the fridge. Um, any any ideas, dude? No, that one's got me. Yeah, yeah, and no one else has come up with an answer. Uh, Gavin said the fly. No, once again, I did not put the fly in because it's not an alien takeover. It's oh, I know what that is. Do. That's um, that's that's the human centipede, isn't it? No, it is definitely not that. So, uh, no, anybody <laughs> not sure? The whole look, all the all the viewers are completely stumped. Uh, yeah, as I said, the dinner from the Tinder date. Uh, Greens is completely bamboozled. It is actually from uh, the Hidden. Oh, remember oh, that movie? I love the Hidden. We were talking about Babylon Five, and that's one of um, Claudia Christensen's first movies. I think she plays it a stripper. Was. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, and Kyle McLaughlin, uh, good old uh, Paul Atreides himself. So there you go. We've only got yeah. a couple more left to go. I think so. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to put it on the screen, but see what Quran wrote. Dude. <laughs> I know. Wrong. Lucky, lucky Dico doesn't watch. <laughs> uh, very, very good. Uh, anyway, what's this one from? Uh, I love this movie. Absolutely awesome movie. Uh, do, do you know what it is, dude? Yeah, I do. I think. Yeah, um, I think cool. a few people will get this, won't they? I don't know. Nothing's come up at this stage. So there you go. So what is this movie? What's this from? This alien? And I'll tell you what, it's an awesome alien. Unbelievably vicious. Very, very cool. Uh, Gene has said, hang on, I've lost it. Uh, never seen that one. Yep, never fair enough. Uh, oh, here we go. Tom Cruise, one has two names. Uh, yeah, Tom and Cruise. Uh, no, <laughs> guy said no idea. So for those who don't know, and it's well worth checking out, it was The Edge of Tomorrow. Absolutely yeah. awesome movie. No, actually, yeah. you know what? When I did the research, I thought it was day after tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow is when you got the uh, big storm that hits the earth and everything freezes and whatever else. So, oh, yes, it wasn't the case. A couple more to go. What's oh, this I one from? <laughs> I love this movie. It's one of, so, one yes. of my favourite John, John Carpenter movies ever. Yeah. Gene will have this one in the bag. Uh, so yeah. we're going right, right, right back. I love the idea of this particular alien. So that is very, very cool. Um and Gene is right. Absolutely fantastic. Dark star. So they go, oh, yeah. left-handed Jedi has joined us as well. You Unfortunately, you joined us right at the end of the episode, left-handed Jedi. So, But you are right, dark star. And I think this is the last one. Best of luck with this, fans. What's that from? I think I know that. Yeah, it's funny. It's easy. You recognize it and you go, oh, what's the name of the movie? Does anybody know? Do they float around? Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, regarding yeah. uh, Live, Die, Repeat was an alternate name or something on Blu-ray has both names. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. regarding Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, look, no, nah, I'm not going to put Russell's comment up because he knew this one straight away But because uh, he's this is his forte. Does anybody else know, even though they've seen his comments by now, except for the YouTube people because they don't see them? Um, the left-handed Jedi, the blind, what would you say, Eros? You're close. Arus. So uh, there we go. How good is that? The brain... 
uh, from Planet Arus. So uh, you know, you, I should know this one. It's in black and white. Hang on. If you want any black and white movie, uh, Gene, just turn your TV's colour off and you've got black and white movies all day long. So there you go. What do you reckon, dude? 